Dolph, you're a king, boy. That's all I want you to know. You're a king. You're a real king. And I had to represent for you, and I will continue to represent for you. As long as I got a breath in me, watch. You're a true soldier. TRU to the bone gristle. That's how I feel, bro. Your spirit will live on. Trust me, bro. You did a lot for the community. You did a lot for people. You was there for a lot of people, bro. Dudes that make it don't do that. They don't have that mindset you had. You been in the game. They, they ain't coming like you, Dolph. They ain't coming like Dolph. I'm serious, bro. People make it, and they forget about where they come from. They forget about them. As long as they got, they don't be tripping. But not Dolph. You heard me? Not Dolph. I want y'all to know I'm in a pen for real. They gave me life. They, that mean they want me to die up in jail. You feel me? And when you're in this situation, a lot of people run out on your own family. You heard me? So for Dolph to come through and holler at me, that was some real stuff right there, brother. And it's a trip how it all happened. It's a trip how me and him got introduced to each other. Yeah, he reached out to Monica, and he was telling her, like, look, the only way I see to get to see is to go through you. That's what I heard. And she was like, what's up? And he was like, I want to go visit him. You heard me? I want to visit my dog. I look up to him. That's my favorite rapper. You heard me? But it was COVID time. He couldn't come. See what I'm saying? So she said, be cool. We're going to make it happen. Then she hollered at me, put me on the phone with him. Me and him talked. And I, right then and now, I knew we were. When Monica put me and Dolph on the phone, bro, I just felt his soul. He felt my soul. I said, dog, when I touch down, we're going to be like this. You heard me? I like your style, I like how you rock. You 100%, you pure, you, you true, straight up. And that's the only kind of people I want to surround myself around. And um, all I can say is, I'm going to miss him to the fullest, bro. I ain't going to even lie, it's a piece of me. Monica going to read y'all the real uh, heartfelt letter that I wrote, you know. And um, I know he looking down on us right now and seeing everybody and seeing the love that he getting and the support that his family getting. And what I need y'all to do is to continue to show this kind of love and this kind of support to his wife, his kids, and everything that he is involved in, you heard me? Real talk, this dude a soldier. I received instruction to read to you all his feelings about Adolf. He said, my name is Corey Miller, known to the world as C. Murder. I've been locked up 20 summers. I did this time by myself providing for my daughters. Sitting in the dungeon sometimes, thinking, will I die in prison? I got a life sentence, and I was wrongfully convicted because I've remained silent. I've been through it all, but a bright light was shined upon me. That light was young Dolph. Finally, after all these years, a real one steps up and reaches down to pull up a true soldier. I've been good to the game since birth. I deserved a soldier's welcome, but I didn't always get it. Dolph was not related to me. He was just a solid dude. He was on top of his game and his grind. The respect he had for me helped me to stay strong throughout my trials and tribulations. Out of the blue, he reached out to Monica and said he wanted to visit me. He gave things to my daughters financially. He talked to me. He checked on me weekly. And the first thing he would ask was how was my spirits? He was truly a thug's angel. God put him in my life for a reason. I am a better man because of Adolf. I will never forget him and I will keep his name ringing in my music and in the streets. 
This dude is so special that God knew he needed him. It's time for us to be there for his wife and kids. And to those real enough to understand, not just of our industry, please respect his memory as the martyr he has become and pay it forward to Adolf's wife and kids. Y'all know what I mean. Make sure that they're straight and do like Adolf did. Don't ask, just execute. Rest in peace and paradise, Dolph. I will love you forever. See murder. <laughs> I want to say to Adolf's family, his mother and father, his Aunt Rita and everyone that he loves so dearly, that the most important thing in his life was to make you proud and to make sure none of you want it for anything. I would take him out to eat and I would make sure the restaurant was as bougie as I possibly could so that I could laugh at Adolf pushing the unnecessary folks to the side. I asked him what was the most important thing to him and he told me it was two things, my son and my daughter. <laughs> Mia, I pray that I can in some way be there for you as your life changes tremendously day by day. Your children meant so much to their father that there was never a conversation where at least something that they said or did did not come up. When I asked Adolf, what song of mine do you love? He said, I ain't gonna lie. I don't listen to all that unless I'm with Mia. <laughs> and I told him, the way you respect and honor her will give your daughter the ability to love herself beyond what any man she comes in contact with ever could. I told him, keep doing what you're doing. And he said, well, what is your motivation? I said, real people. People like you that think enough of others to put themselves to the back at times. Pre is a legacy that will not stop just because of Adolf's transition. What the devil means for bad, God will always make good of. And to be absent in body is to be present with the Lord. So you took him from us in the physical realm, but he has elevated even higher to take his dream and what he wanted for those that he loved to the next level. He asked me to sing on a record and I said, okay, just send it to me. He said, you know what? Don't, don't sing on mine first. I want you to sing on Jody's because I want every artist that come up under me to know how special they are. He said, I'm creating kings and queens all over the places. And if they don't see what I'm doing, they're gonna respect what I'm doing. To Glock, Daddy-O, Jody, and every single one of you, your well-being for him came first. Not just your music, but your lives were important to him. And he is the epitome of the most important three letters of his favorite rappers, true. 
his tenacity, his resilience, and his understanding for his God-given purpose cannot be taken in any shape, form, or fashion. As he continues to touch all of our lives, I ask that you honor him by doing good for those that you love. Honor him by being good in your communities. And to those that have become my family, I'll always keep it real with my dog no matter what. <laughs>